Please welcome Ford Executive Chair Bill Ford. Well, thank you, uh, and good afternoon, everybody. And we're so happy to be here with you today as we start a new chapter in Michigan manufacturing. And I want to uh, begin by welcoming Governor Whitmer. Governor, thank you for your extraordinary leadership and all that you've done in making this day a reality. You and your team were absolutely magnificent as we went through this process, and we can't thank you enough. Thank you. We're also joined by Marshall Mayor Jim Schwartz, Ray Curry, President of the UAW, and Chuck Browning, UAW Vice President and Director of the Ford Department. And we're also very happy to have Rashida Tlaib with us today here. So thank you all for coming. And thank you, of course, to all the uh, elected officials and distinguished guests who have worked so hard to uh, make today possible. I believe that building in America matters more than ever. Ford has a long history of investing in manufacturing all across this country. But today we're pleased to announce a $3.5 billion investment to build a brand new next-gen EV battery plant right here in our home state of Michigan and right here in the United States. Now the plant's going to be located in Marshall, Michigan, about 90 miles from here, and it's going to be named the Blue Oval Battery Park, Michigan. And this plant will initially create 2,500 new, highly skilled manufacturing jobs. Marshall is a beautiful historic town, and we don't want to change that. We're excited to partner with the community as we bring these new jobs to the future of the region. But being a good neighbor is something that we take very seriously at Ford and something that means a lot to me personally. And that's why we're ensuring that 245 acres at the southern edge of the site are placed into a conservation easement. This land along the Kalamazoo River will be preserved for generations to come. And the Ford Fund will also be contributing resources to help the community explore how to best enjoy this beautiful land. At this plant, the team will build a new kind of factory. These batteries will be more affordable, incredibly durable, and they'll charge faster. Now here's why that matters. Manufacturing these new batteries in America will help us build more EVs faster and will ultimately make them more affordable for our customers. And it will help us meet the clean air commitments that we've made to America to the world, and to the next generation under the Paris Agreement. And finally, manufacturing these new batteries in America will bring us closer to battery independence. Right now, many automakers import most of their batteries from abroad. This is a slow, expensive uh, process that makes us vulnerable to supply chain disruptions. And that's why we're working with CATL who are the experts in LFP battery technology. They'll help us get up to speed so that we can build these batteries ourselves. Batteries made here in Michigan and built for America. Winning the EV race is critical to our country's future and to our children's future. And that's why today's announcement is so important. We're transforming Ford to innovate, lead, and remain the beating heart of American manufacturing well into the future. This is what we've done always since our founding, and this is what we will always do. Because I believe that Ford's success and America's success are one and the same. And now, I'd like to welcome my friend, Governor Whitmer, to the stage.
Well, thank you. I am so incredibly excited to be here today. This is a big deal, and it was a team effort from our partners at Ford, Bill Ford, Jim Farley, and the incredible team, to Quentin Messer, who is the president of the and CEO of the Michigan Economic Development Corporation, to our partners from Marshall and the community and utility partners who helped make this project possible. Today, we are coming together to celebrate a big win for Team Michigan. Ford is investing $3.5 billion to create 2,500 good paying jobs, manufacturing electric vehicles in Marshall, Michigan, about 100 miles, I don't know what way it is from here. Mayor? What way am I pointing? That way, okay. Landing this investment will continue bringing the supply chain of electric vehicle batteries home to Michigan. And it'll make sure that production lines aren't stalled by global shocks or shipping delays. We're gonna make electric vehicles top to bottom right here in the great state of Michigan. And I am grateful to Ford, an American icon for believing in Michigan. stories, after all, are intertwined. Michigan has a long, proud relationship with Ford, which helped define us as a global epicenter of the auto industry. It was Ford's uh, Paquette Avenue plant in Detroit where the legendary Model T rolled off the groundbreaking assembly line. In the century since, Ford has continued its commitment to Michigan. Since 2016, they've announced nearly $13.5 billion of investment here, creating and retaining nearly 12,500 jobs. And less than a year ago, Ford announced a $2 billion investment across five plants in Southeast Michigan. They started producing the F-150 Lightning, their top-selling electric pickup, which you see right here, built in Michigan. And Ford is transforming the historic Michigan Central Station in Detroit and properties in Corktown into an innovation hub for the future of transportation. And we're here at Ford um, Ion Park, the home of Ford's Global Battery Center of Excellence, where R&D and advanced manufacturing come together to drive further innovation and electrification. Ford's future is bright. They are on track to deliver production run rate of 600,000 electric vehicles by the end of this year and two million by late 2026. With the new Marshall facility, Ford will continue shaping the next century right here from their home state of Michigan. This isn't the first time that battery factory is built in Michigan, it's the fourth. Since I took office, we've announced tens of thousands of jobs, building cars, making chips, producing clean energy. We're expanding and funding workforce programs to help hundreds of thousands of people get the skills they need to land these good paying, high skilled jobs. And we created powerful bipartisan economic development tools to land $13.5 billion of projects and secure those 13,000 jobs. We've been identified as one of three states that will dominate battery manufacturing by 2030. And we're working together to make Detroit the next Silicon Valley. We're the number one state for engineers per capita the number one state for energy sector job growth, and home to more OEM headquarters than anyone else. We're competing, and Michigan is winning against other states and nations because of our deep manufacturing roots, our tough, talented workers, and willingness to work with anyone who wants to get things done. And we're gonna keep our foot on the accelerator because we've got talent and momentum. Ultimately, however, all this work is important because it makes a real difference for people. That's what this is all about. Ford's investment in Marshall will be an absolute game changer. It'll create generational opportunities for West Michigan families, schools, small businesses, and the surrounding community. Now don't just take my word for it. Here's what James Durian, CEO of Marshall Development Alliance wrote. This project basically replaces all the jobs Marshall has lost over the years and will lead to momentum for additional job creation and ancillary new businesses. Michigan was built by working families from our bustling city centers to company towns just like Marshall. Over the past few decades, 
too many good paying jobs were shipped overseas. Now we're bringing them back and we're competing for more projects of every size to lead the future of mobility and electrification. We're working with our private sector and federal partners to bring home resources from the CHIPS Act and the Sciences, the CHIPS and Sciences Act and the Inflation Reduction Act. We're turning abandoned buildings into affordable housing, commercial space, or humming factories. And we're turning signs that say for sale into hiring now. It's happening across Michigan, and the last few years have brought us the first new auto plant in Detroit in 30 years, a high-tech electronics manufacturer in the Keweenaw Peninsula, battery factories in Lansing, Big Rapids, Van Buren Township, and Holland, a chip maker in Bay City, R&D hubs in Ann Arbor, and the big three investments from Flint to Dearborn and now Marshall. I am so excited to be here with Ford and proud that we got this done together. And now I'd like to introduce the mayor of Marshall, Michigan, Mayor Jim Schwartz. Good afternoon. I'm so excited to stand here today to be part of a historic day for Marshall. Ford's decision to put its next battery facility in Marshall will bring a much needed infusion of good paying jobs to the region and the start of an important new relationship for this community. Ford's presence will bring 2,500 new jobs to Marshall with the possibility of future expansion. These jobs will bring opportunities for our area residents, benefits to local business, and help us attract additional investment into the region to address issues like housing and our parks. Ford has entrusted us with this $3.5 billion investment, giving Marshall and our surrounding area new economic opportunities never before possible. I've heard from you that preserving Marshall's historic charm and great natural beauty is a high priority for all residents, and I do agree. That is why we are proud to announce that Marshall local government is partnering with Ford to protect over 240 acres of land bordering the Kalamazoo River by placing it into conservation easement. We are grateful to the Ford Fund who will be making a contribution to help our community explore ways the public may be able to utilize this space. Ford has a history of being a good neighbor with local communities that tend to, or I'm sorry, that trend to continue with Marshall. We've been working closely with our company and our neighboring communities to make sure that the needs of local residents are heard understood and delivered. Far from changing the character of the city, these new jobs represent a positive economic impact for the area. And I think you'll be excited to see how the community can benefit while preserving its historic small town feel. I invite you to join us on this journey to discover what the future of Marshall will look like and feel like. We have a responsibility to this city to leave it better than when we began and I believe Ford's investment in associated job creation in the area will truly benefit the residents of our great city. I'm excited to announce my support for our new Ford neighbors, and I look forward to seeing Marshall grow as a strong community we know and love. Thank you very much. Please welcome Ford President and Chief Executive Officer, Jim Farley. I love this oval. 
Uh, thank you, Governor Whitmer. And um, thank you, Mayor Schwartz. We're so proud of this project and we're so grateful for your partnership. We're excited to bring those 2,500 American manufacturing jobs um, back to our home state. We consider lots of sites in North America and outside of North America, multiple locations. But thanks to you, uh, and especially thanks to Bill Ford's leadership and vision, we're investing this $3.5 billion to build brand new high-tech EV battery plants right here in Michigan. You were clearly the hands-down winner of all the sites. The new Marshall plant, as Bill said, Blue Oval Battery Park, Michigan, is a key part of more than $50 billion that we're spending on innovation and leading the EV revolution. As you saw, 10 new facilities, and we're working with many partners, but more than 18,000 American jobs, and this is just the start. We're all in on this race, as Bill said. We're already the leading employer in our industry, and we're just building on that. There are two main kinds of batteries that power electric vehicles, NCM batteries and LFP batteries. They're really different, and Ford is the first auto manufacturer to commit to build both in America. Blue Oval Battery Park, Michigan, will give us an ultra-low cost battery that accelerates our plan to deliver EVs that are great for customers and also profitable for Ford. By making them here in the U.S., we reduce shipping and import costs. And we're growing production of EV batteries here at home, reflecting the central purpose of the Inflation Reduction Act. That's why it was passed for this project. When the plant comes online in 2026, we will deliver one of the lowest cost batteries produced in the United States. And it's good business and it's good for our customers. Whether it's faster charging, tougher hauling, longer distances, or just a more affordable option, now we have it all and others don't and won't. And more good news for customers today. We'll begin offering LFP batteries in the Mach-E starting this spring. And we're gonna scale up the supply in a couple years when we open Marshall. With this new plant, we're further strengthening our own supply chain, as Bill said, to get our higher quality higher performance EVs to customers even sooner. To hit the ground running, we're collaborating with the world's largest battery maker, a company called CATL. They've got decades of experience putting batteries in personal electronics and all sorts of devices that you use every day, and vehicles too. For example, Tesla currently imports a CATL LFP battery into the United States already. It's part of a full throttle strategy to produce EVs at a running rate, as the governor said, of 600,000 units globally by the end of this year. And even more importantly, 2 million incremental production by the end of 2026 for Ford globally. We're localizing our EV supply chain everywhere we build EVs around the world. We're working to create a positive impact on people and communities in the transition to EVs. And there's a lot more to come. Governor Whitmer, Bill and I wanna thank you and your whole team for helping make this possible in our home state. I also want to thank the state legislature and local officials for your support as well. 
And thank you to the partners like Blue Table Forum, who are working with us to help imagine a future for transportation that is so much more than sustainability, equitable, and inclusion. This has always been our company, and Ford has always been the state, and Michigan has always been the state, where great jobs can really change the trajectory of a family for generations to come. That's been true for my own family ever since my grandfather first clocked in on the lines at Highland Park 100 years ago. And that's exactly what is going to happen in Marshall, Michigan going forward. We build generational opportunities in America by being built in America and for Americans. Thank you everyone for this celebration and this great day. Wonderful to be with all of you.